Welcome viewers, I'm here at Inde Lake, it's a beautiful part of Burma. My story began five years ago when we were traveling on in a little boat at the lake on a beautiful day, but quickly the weather changed, there was a thunderstorm, lightning, and we had to seek uh, refuge on shore. When we came on shore, we were met by this man this monk. His name is Utuwana and from that time our lives changed forever. The full story of what happened is in this book but for the time being I have the great pleasure of talking to the monk. I call him Ponji affectionately and so we will talk about his life and his work. Welcome, Ponji. Thank you for talking to us today. Please uh, let us begin. If you can tell me a little bit about the monastery. Okay. Uh, now let us talk a little bit about your personal background. Okay. And what uh, what was the political and economic position of the region at that time where you were living? What was the conditions at that time? Okay. 
အဲ့ဒါနေမှာနေငံလဲတို့တူတိယကပါစစ်နဲ့အတူပြီးတွင်နေငံရေးပြီးတွင်အဖွဲ့အစည်းလဲဟောအစိုးရနဲ့မပေ
So he became a novice monk at that time, right? You became a monk at that time. Ah, actually, I Okay, okay. Yeah. okay. So at that time, at that time, what was your feeling? What did you, what did you feel about your people? What you saw around you? You saw a lot of people unhappy, fighting going on. You had no education. You lost your mother when you were very young, few years old. What what were you feeling at that time? เอ่อดิโลเวนนี่เนี่ยแกอ่ะเด้ดิโลเวผิดนี่แกอ่ะเด้ <laughs> ไอ้ก็ยังเนาะทุกๆชาคันซ้ําหมดเนาะไม่ใช่ว่าตามมาตุเมียก็เนาะเอ่ออเมยิ้นสิเลยพวกนี้เนาะอเมยิ้นไม
Here we have it. I can really tell you it smells beautiful. Uh, we're back uh, talking to Ponji. We will discuss with him now how the monastery started and how it developed over the, over the years. So, Ponji, when did uh, the monastery first start? When did you take charge of the monastery? Well, yeah, the the young the young of 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 the so, a long time ago. Uh, when did the first orphan come to the monastery? And what did you feel when the first orphan child arrived at the monastery? We so really you took on your first orphan child without knowing how you would look after him or her. I think it was a boy or girl. Now, I know it's how difficult it would have been, but now when I look at the monastery, I think there are at least 1,200 <coughs> children studying here and, 1, 000, uh, and about 800 children boarding. They're made up of some orphans, abandoned children and very poor children. But you know, you do an amazing job. It's like running a first-class business. Good. Good. The way you manage the monastery is amazing. I want to share with the viewers a story from the book uh, which shows how resourceful you are and how clever you've been tra in trying to feed them and make money. I think there's a story in the book which is about when you, uh, uh, when you didn't have any money, you bought some videos from China and borrowed a video player and your cook went around in the boat Yes, selling tickets at five chats to come and watch the video films. Mm -hmm. And at that time, the school, for a little period in time, became a cinema. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that's where you, uh, you made a little bit of money to feed the children. But you've always been very enterprising, you know, always finding ways to make money for the children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, tell us. Uh, Tell us, um, now the school is running really well. Tell us how, what you would like to achieve now. What more would you like to do? We are the clearly on the moon. Tampi are the Tajare, Sedan on Jare, Boya Jare, and the Sedan on Boya de Cleo, a low cuisine, loaning, just a so you are, I know that you are also sponsoring children who finish 10th grade here and then go to university. 
I think the monastery still supports children when they go to university to do, become doctors or nurses or teachers. Is that, is that the case? How many are on scholarship now from the monastery? Yeah. What does the monastery need now, besides more donations, of course? Yeah. Well, that's uh, very good news because I think when I looked around the monastery, uh, there you have begun, you started work on building a clinic for the children. I hope that that will provide, you know, good training for the children's health and good, uh, uh, good treatment when they get ill. Now I'm looking at you, um, uh, and some people call you Obama. But <laughs> uh, you only have one robe, and I think your slipper, you don't even have any slippers. Uh, you don't have any material things. Yes. Do you miss, miss material pleasures? You know, do you miss the uh, uh, trappings of, of a good life, material life? Do, do you believe that uh, that you are in this world for a you know do you believe in destiny do you believe that you are in this world for a reason and do you think that if you if you are do you think you are fulfilling that reason <laughs> So let us, um, let us try and, um, you know, what I observed here is the children look so happy. They have very little, but they are happy children. They're good children. They're well-behaved children. Yes, they're humble children. They're honest children, right? And can you share with the viewers uh, how, what, what did you teach them so that we can learn in the West how to treat our children and make them good children as well? <laughs> ดูตาลูโลกาโยลาเนี่ยลูอาลงอ่ะกังกองเนี่ยดูอาลงเนี่ยอาลกังกองเนี่ยบ่าเนี่ยมีแม่บ้าแม่เนี่ยอ้านเ
Dukha, Dukha, Sinye Me, Dukha, Chanda Me, Sinye Me, Lat Bo Me, Lat Me Bo Bu, or Achan Yan Si Me, Achan Yan Si Bu, Dumya Kimu Me, Dumya Keye Me, Dariya Luta A Lo, Jin Seng Jare. That you didn't teet Halo Seng, that Loga Dham Be, Jung Yat Me Be, Sinye De Kha Chanda Da Le, Pisa Me Be, Na Le De Lua, Kanin Yin Si Lo. But how can you overcome these challenges? Hello. Now, there are millions of You run a very successful monastery, and I'm surprised that the cost of running the monastery for one day, having 1,200 children, is only $350 a day. That's really good value for money. Very good value for money. Uh, how do you manage to do that? How do you manage to run this monastery for su such a small amount of money? Uh, well, you know, Yada Lumwe, Yada Lumwe, Yonda Miba, and Eva Tewin, the Alumwe, near Nawi, We've uh, talked so far about how well the business and how well the monastery is run, like almost a sleek business uh, at a shoestring budget of $350 a day. That's a remarkable achievement. After the break, we will talk a little bit about Ponji's feelings and his himself really. We still haven't really found out about his own emotions. So after the break. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, in the last section of this conversation, we'll be talking about uh, feelings, feelings of the heart. But before I, I do that, uh, I want to congratulate uh, Ponji because he has the great Dalai Lama right to him, uh, acknowledging his work uh, and um, uh, and the good work he's doing for the monastery and the children. I'd like to ask Ponji, how do you feel having such an amazing man like him valuing the work you are doing? ကျိုးစားအထုတ်နေတဲ့ပုဂ္ဂိုလ်ဟာပရိဋ္ဌာလုံးငန်းတမျိုးပုံရိလဲဒီပရိဋ္ဌာလူတားရဲ့အခွင
uh, people from different faiths, from different religions, fighting against each other. What would be your advice to those people not to do it? What would you be your advice as to how we can have peace in this world? ตัวบาโบมาสุปยามาสุเตยอะอะชิงชิงปยามาสุเตยอะมิตรากรุณามุติตาอุปัคคะสุเตยปยามาสุเตยะเตยแกงแกมตุเตงตุเตงนลุง